Hello everyone, this time we are going to see how can MS Word help us write better. Now if you want to know the trick, how it works, I would want you to read this first paragraph. I'm going to read it with you. If you want your readers to read your entire blog post, you should make sure that your text is easy to read. Stop. Don't make a text more difficult than necessary. Stop. Avoid long sentences and write clear paragraphs. Now, in contrast to that paragraph, I would want you to read the second paragraph. If you want your readers to read your entire blog post, you should make sure that your text is easy to read, comma, and ensure that no extra text is added that makes it more difficult than necessary, and also avoid long sentences and write clear paragraphs. Now, we are able to make out that there is some difference between the first and second paragraph. Somehow, the second paragraph is unnecessarily lengthy. Survey and analysis have shown that the first paragraph is easily read by users and viewers in contrast to the second paragraph. But I want proof. I want some mechanism in Microsoft Word which tells me that precisely while I'm writing such paragraphs and sentences. If I choose the first paragraph, I go to the status bar where I can see how many words are being selected. There's a small icon which looks like an open book. There's a cross sign which means nothing is being written right now. If I click on it, it says, we are finished checking your selection. Want to check the rest of the document? I say no. And it gives me a readability statistics. If I choose the second paragraph, again click on the same icon. I click on no, I get the same readability statistics. Now let me put the readability statistics side by side for these two paragraphs. Okay. Now. There are three sections. The first section talks about the basic count. How many words are there? How many characters? How many paragraphs? And how many sentences? But more important amongst these three are averages and readability. So average says there are three sentences per paragraph in the first example. However, there is only one sentence per paragraph in the second example. Now this is the fact, but how do you interpret this fact? Three means you have been able to break down the sentences into multiple smaller chunks, thereby making it easy for the user to read it. And that is not the case with the second paragraph. It's just one sentence per paragraph, which means there is no stop. It's just commas and ands joining the sentences. Second, words per sentence. Notice this refers approximately 13 in contrast to 47 of the other. It refers to the fact that since you have been able to break down your sentence into manageable chunks, there are approximately 13 words per sentence. And this says there are 47 words in a single sentence. Ideally, it should be 25 or less. So this gives you another parameter to judge your writing style. If you use unnecessary complex and lengthy words, then characters per word would have shown you eight or nine. And sometimes it is inevitable because you might be writing a technical document which may have legal terms or scientific terms. Now, after having seen the averages, let us go to the readability part. Now, first thing I see is passive sentences 0 and 0 percentage. It is an established fact in the writing world that the lesser number of passive sentences you have, the easier it is to read the paragraph and there are no unnecessary use of extra words. Take for example these two sentences. Director read the report, four words only. The report was read by the director, seven words, making this unnecessarily lengthy. So it will tell you that in a paragraph, how much percentage of passive sentences have been used. Next, flesh reading ease, higher the better. 60% or more is considered quite good. So notice the second paragraph has less than 60, approximately 45.7, right? Third and the final parameter amongst the readability is flesh Kincaid grade level. How to interpret this? It says that you will require 4.8 years of education to read this statement. Whereas the other paragraph requires 18.5 years of education. Now normally a child starts going to school at around five years of age. So if you add five to both these numbers, that will give you the actual age of the reader who will be able to read that very easily. So here it's 
going to be approximately 10 so a 10 year old kid can also read the first paragraph very easily however a 10 year old kid will not be able to interpret the second paragraph so easily who will be able to do so maybe a 23 or 24 year old person now question is how do you get this statistics on board well i have written the path for your reference in this blue text but we'll follow that file options then go to proofing within proofing as you scroll down you will look at some option called readability statistics if by any chance this is turned off turn it on and some of you may see this disabled altogether reason being you must keep check grammar with spelling box on so that you can avail the benefit of show readability statistics and once you do that you will get this small book like icon and that is what readability statistics is so next time you're writing some blog or technical document just select the text click on the readability statistics button if there are any spelling errors it will ask you to change them or ignore them so i'll say ignore all do you want to check the rest of the document no and once it is done it will immediately give you the readability statistics so since it's a very small sentence which i have picked up so there aren't any statistics available for it let me choose one more the second paragraph click on readability statistics no and there you go you get the entire readability statistics so there's an entire science behind it friends use it to your advantage and trust me with time your writing skills will be much much better than what it is right now thank you for watching this video